Good morning traders, Michael Sabo here with RJO Futures coming to here on Tuesday, August uh, 21st with some uh, opening commentary here in the energy market. So let's get right down to it. What do we got going on? Uh, crude prices spiking much higher here this morning. Uh, right now we're around 97.33 in the WTI, up a uh, over a dollar oh seven there. Uh, Brent firmer as well, 114.88. We're up about a dollar eighteen. Give me a call. You want to talk about that spread? A lot of opportunities, uh, uh, you know. There we could talk about entry and exit uh, points there. Uh, taking a look at the Nat Gas, we're firmer also around 285.10. We're up about three to four cents there. Complex much firmer as well. Arbob around 306.70, up about uh, th over uh, three and a half cents there. Or excuse me, uh, and, and uh, we got the heat around uh, 312.79. Uh, up about 348 there. So seeing the markets there, uh, you know, energy prices moving much higher here. What, what do we got driving these markets here? Well, fundamentals here. Mainly, I think when you look at the oil here, take a look at the Brent because that's really where the the supply disruptions have been at. Um, we've got tight Brent supplies here. We've got a major oil field there that's offline there, not expected to come back online there till about October. Um, you certainly you've got you know uh, they're talking about oil exports uh, coming out you know that were uh, coming out of Iran that have dropped off significantly down around 30 uh, percent or so. A lot of that has to do with because of these financial uh, sanctions that have been imposed upon them. So obviously that's causing the Brent uh, to move higher. We've still got a lot of geopolitical tensions there, the stuff going on in Syria and and the continued talk of what is Israel going to do? Are they going to you know launch strikes against Iran's nuclear program or not? At some point that will come to a head. So they obviously continue to build fear, fear premium into the market. Um, now you know taking a look at the technicals and the one thing that I've talked a lot about is this market here. We look at the WTI here. We are way overbought here. Short term technical indicators, but the market still uh, continues to move higher. We've crossed above the 200-day moving average, which we were pushing against yesterday. Uh, we broke through that here today. Uh, you, you know, you've got, uh, you know, outside markets are much firmer, dollars weaker, so that's helping, you know, all commodities participate in this rally, as we saw S&P here make a new uh, contract high on the September contract. So. You know, we're continuing to see things push higher there. Uh, we could be pushing uh, the WTI that could be pushing here into the 98 to maybe 102 area. But again, you know, I'm actually short term bearish on this market. Uh, been wrong here a little bit, but I'm, I'm recommending, you know, I think you could still look at taking calculated risk short positions, you know, in that market. Um, the technical overtone of that market, as I mentioned earlier, is very short term overbought. And the fundamentals here, really, when you look at the, the, the WTI there, I mean, you know, supply side is pretty decent and the demand side still remains, you know, questionable for the second half of this year. So, you know, if you're interested, you want to take a look at some short term uh, opportunities here to the downside, give me a call. I could talk to you about some calculated risk plays. That's the way I think you got to approach that. Now, if you're a bull in this market, as I mentioned, long term, I'm still bullish in the energy markets. Uh, but, you know, if you're a bull here, I think you got to be very cautious up at these levels. So, you know, my opinion is here, I mean, you could play that long side but be prepared because when the, when the market starts to, to fall, I think it's going to happen uh, uh, pretty quickly here. So, you know, if you want to discuss some risk management strategies there, if you're bullish on that market, feel free to give me a call. The number on the trade desk is 800-367-7290 or shoot me an email. Uh, we are going to have API numbers coming out here later on here today. Follow up with DOE numbers here tomorrow. So if you want to talk about the expectations, give me a buzz, shoot me an email. We can go over that. And of course, remember that, you know, futures trading may not be suitable for all investors. It does involve a substantial amount of risk. Good luck and good trading.